Okay, well, now that I've covered it, you can still see some of the background. Um, but I decided I had wanted to do a couple of girls on there. And um, I just decided that I would do a front-facing girl and on one side. And then I love this stencil by Prima. And I just use it to orientate a few of the details. You can just see it just gives you a start. And then I can draw the hair around the way that I like. And so I'm just sketching that in with a pencil. And now I'm using some, I'm not using um, PBO paints for this, but I'm just using some flesh tones because this is a bag that I'm actually not going to wash. But I am using the PBO fabric paints over the majority of it because, but the PBO fabric paints don't actually have um, flesh tones in them. So now I'm just putting in a few basic flesh tones and they blend really well, like really, really well because of the canvas. So I'm really happy with the way that the flesh tones and shadows are turning out. So I'm now thinking about, here we go, so the PBO white, PBO garnet red and PBO purple. And uh, I decided to use both colours in the hair. And these are all just underpaintings at the moment. So now I'm pulling out this set of scrib pens and I will use them at some point. So what I'm doing here is I'm just um, using some lemon in the background and some, uh, some apricot to just put some accents in because I'm wanting these pastel-y colours. And I'm now, I've mixed up some pink in the set of colours and I'm now adding a little bit of apricot to it as well because I'm keeping the pink, lemon and apricot tones here. And I've decided to do a blonde haired girl on this one with swirly hair but I'm going to add some pink into it. I'm using a Naples, you know, a yellow, roughly a Naples yellow kind of mix with the set of colours here. Mixed the white in with the yellow to get like a Naples yellow. And then I'm going to add a little bit more white in and add some highlights here. And again, underpainting. But I'm liking the way it's turning out. Flesh and uh, the shadows are looking quite good. Now I'm just using that garnet red to add some accents with a stiff brush. And continue those dotty patterns. And I've decided that I'm going to do like a pinky kind of mottled to lemon background. So it'll be shades of pink, peach and yellow to give contrast to the lemon there. And I'm really into pastels at the moment and I love the way this is turning out so far. And all I'm doing is adding in lemon. You can see the lemon there, blending it in with the pink. And I just I love the way that's happening. It's just looking really cool. Now I'm going to do the same process here. Again, mixing in the garnet red in the set of colours with magenta. And now I'm just adding more tones to my circles and my border. And with the garnet red, just adding in additional patterns here. Just for highlights and lowlights. And so I'm doing the same thing with the background here. I want to make my patterns stand out, so you use contrasting colours against the lemon so that you still see them. And then move into a peachy lemony colour here. But you can see the pink with the yellow. And I I just like it. Lots of fun. Love these colour. I call them lolly colours. Loving the lolly colours. <laughs> they make me happy. And, uh, you know, it's just a fun surface to work on. And this is, you know, I take this bag through airports um, as my carry on luggage so that I can uh, <laughs> art when I'm on planes and I take it away on camps with me and retreats. 
where I might not be just going away to art and I want to be compact in the bags that I carry. So I'm very happy with um, the storage of it. My gorgeous friend Gina Ahrens from the States sent this over from um, Harbour Freight in the States. So this bag's from that and it's a lot of fun. So what I'm doing now is using the black setter script pen to just outline my details like I would if I was doing this on a page. And I did it particularly with the girls as well because I wanted them to be a little bit cartoonish otherwise I think they would blend into that background a little bit too much. And I used this as an accent and add additional patterns in as well. So I'm just using some of the setter script pens in the deep blue and the pale blue. The pale blue is actually called if you're a tissue it's a gorgeous colour pale blue and I use the, the dark blue and the pale blue in the eyes because I like to have light and shade in the eyes in the irises and I'm just using a little bit of um, flesh tones there to fix up the face And this has all been a really fun kind of process. I'm doing the same across the other side as well. So now I'm just using some white to touch up the eyes and make them that little bit brighter. Put a highlight on the nose, add some dots in just to make the bag, the side of the bag look really cute. Fill in the circles from the patterns that I drew. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and add some highlights to the hair, put some spots in and use the white in the same way that I have on this side. And then I'm going to pick up the orange set of screw pen and it is actually the pale orange and it's the colour of it. I'm trying to remember. It's not a fluoro, it's the orange I don't think they actually have the colours on them. Yeah, isn't that funny? They don't actually have the colours on them. It's the orange, but not the fluoro orange. So I'm just doing finishing touches. I'm going to pull out a food ball pen and add in some lashes, finer details, and just finish off all the little details as well and I hope you've enjoyed this project it's really good for canvas bags I just did some really quick sketches of girls and because I wanted girls in my bag and I hope you've enjoyed this video from Crafty Crusaders Peter on the design team ciao for now mm -hmm.